Mental health and gaming get talked about a lot, but usually in a very negative way. So let me share with you our family's personal experience in losing our oldest son to his year-long battle with mental health just last December. In the months leading up to that, we talked regularly about four things he was desperate to find. Number one, a place he felt like he belonged. Number two, people he could connect with. He felt as though had experienced or were experiencing what he was going through. Number three, skills that he could develop beyond what he had so that he could provide for himself and maybe a family in the future. And number four, kindness, because he felt the world was such an unkind place. When you look at gaming in terms of the ability to provide those four things, you will view it very differently. Because Technology has brought us to a point where gaming is borderless. We can create, if done correctly, a place where people feel as though they belong, because they do. Number two, people in that environment that they can connect with of all sorts, whether it's just I want to have some fun, or two, I'm really having a tough day. Number three, skills that you can develop to provide for yourself and maybe in gaming. Number four, kindness. An environment where it is kind, welcoming, non-judgmental, positive, so that in the end, with those four things, gaming becomes a resource that allows people to maybe progress to seeing light at the end of the tunnel, to maybe get off from hanging on the edge of the cliff, to be able to sit up and see a different perspective. So for me, I view gaming in a very different way when it comes to mental health. I view it as an incredibly powerful resource.